right, this sort of an unboxing. I just took it out of a bigger box. And uh, this is what I'm planning on putting on that uh, Ruger that I just bought the other day. It's, uh, what do they call it, LPVO. In other words, it's just, you can read it right there. Low power variable optic. So it goes from one to eight. And it's a 30 millimeter tube, so it should work with the rings that I that came with the rifle. That's what I'm hoping for. I mean, uh, 223 is generally a close range uh, caliber. You know, we're not looking for uh, anything out past, say, 300 yards, really. Interesting. Hey, nice packaging on this. So, this is a, uh, what is it? Yeah, right there. The Monstrum uh, Banshee. Now, this is uh, a brand that's popped up and it's been getting uh, a lot of play lately. Uh, I've heard good things about them and, yeah, I've heard a couple of bad things. Uh, we'll see. But most of what I've heard on this scope is uh, it's good. I haven't heard much bad. Uh, you know, it, uh, all right, we got a battery in there. Uh, what do we got here? Yeah, battery, cleaning cloth, some kind of constructions, ah, uh, some sort of a sticker and a thank you note. Yeah, a couple of, uh, mm-hmm, and what else? I've got a, uh, it came with this rail, all right? Right here. Now, uh, I don't believe I'm going to use this. It might work. Uh, I don't know. Let me look here. Uh, yeah, sorry about the unpreparedness, but it might work on that. Uh, eh. Ruger gave me a small Picatinny rail. It might work on that to put this. Uh, more than likely, I'm going to try to use these, and it does not look like that's going to work. So we'll have to use some ingenuity, try to find bigger. Uh, yeah, that's uh, definitely not working on the Ruger thing, that's for sure. Never know. But, so, get these boxes out of the way. All right. It's not a bad uh, thing there. All right. So, got them little flip-up caps, which is cool. Yeah. Oh, that's not too bad. I don't know if you guys can. Ah, there it is. See it? Ah, I didn't think I'd be able to get that done. There you go. That's what the crosshairs look like. And, of course, you've got uh, your adjustments right here and on top. So, that is what's going to go on to Ruger. So, we'll see how she holds up. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to use this uh, right here. So, there we go. All right, I'll let you know how she works, right? God bless. Yeah, let me see here. All right, barely fits in screen, but that's what we're working with. It, uh, the rings, like I said, were too small, so I had to use the cantilever. And, uh, you know, I just had to flip the cantilever around to get the right eye picture. But that's okay. I've had to do that before on ARs. So anyway, that's what she's going to look like. All right. God bless. 